Hi guys and welcome to another video by myself, Bates and 87 This is returning one as the transfer window has just, uh, well, just about to open uh, in a few weeks' time, I'm pretty sure. And if you guys do want any MSP, PSN codes, or cheap game codes, go and check out G2A.com, their link is down below. 5,000 likes will be absolutely brilliant, and guys, subscribe if you're not subscribed already. So when the January transfer window was open, I was doing a lot of transferred, rumoured videos, confirmed transfers, a few cards, could be entering the ultimate team as well, as well as looking forward towards some FIFA 17 new additions as well, and uh, you can see them on the screen now. So, also, guys, this uh, this series, if you do want to see it, leave uh, comments down below as well. And if you have missed any, feel free to let me know. But I went and covered the last three days um, of transfers, as well as some important ones you guys may not be aware of, as a lot of people are not aware of them happening. So, guys, on the screen now, you are seeing the... Um, the lineup of uh, three players. I'm just about to pull it up myself so I can see it. Uh, just talk about it that little bit more. Um, and we have three, uh, well, two major signings. And these ones are confirmed ones. It is Dembele moving from Liga Earn all the way to Dortmund as a bit of a replacement for one of the centre backs which has left this week. Dembele was seen as a high prospect uh, in football. Uh, Liverpool were in for him. A few other major clubs were in for him as well. But it looks like Dortmund have acquired his services. Not in Ultimate Team currently, but if you go on SoFIFA.com, you can see him because he is in uh, career mode and stuff like that and uh, people can see his stats and uh, that's what it would be if it was an ultimate team card now the same was done was done for Sanchez but them card stats are incorrect uh, as I went and had a look and they are incorrect but it is a similar looking card I think he's got like 85 pace and I think maybe 86 physical but if you want to go and have a look on my Twitter guys you can see his proper stats the next one is Joey Barton um, was mocked a little bit when Burnley won the league uh, if you guys haven't seen that video I'd recommend go and check it out because he was left without a premier uh, uh, um, a League One um, winner's medal and obviously uh, had a bit, well, the piss taken out of him really um, and this week he's ended up in uh, in Rangers yeah, <laughs> playing golf out there but also I was at the club as well so who knows if he's leaving Burnley and going to join Rangers uh, and, and see if he can do anything with them so that's uh, the free screen ones anyway and then we actually do finally move on to the ones which I do on Footways guys if you guys do want to build your own um, Obviously, cards themselves definitely go on this website. So we've got 18 transfers to look at, uh, some confirmed, some potential. And the first one, this one's been around for a very, very long time now, it is Phil Walcott, heavily linked with uh, a move to Liverpool, even being left out of Arsenal's last game today. Uh, so who knows with that one as a Liverpool fan? I'm, I'm unsure. I'm unsure whether I'd want Phil Walcott there. Um, but let me know. A few years ago, maybe. Now... Not so sure, not so sure, but as loads of Liverpool fans watch my videos, feel free to let me know what you'd think if Walcott did come to us. It would help with the squad depth for sure, but as a starting player, he definitely wouldn't be that. The next one we got is Bobby Wood. This guy has moved to Hamburger, um, 86 pace, 67 rated striker. Uh, would be a nice candidate, he's coming to Ultimate Team in the next couple of weeks. We have Pablo Zabaleta, apparently... Ongoing talks with Roma, yet again, he is heavily linked with a move to Roma, obviously with a change of manager now at Manchester City. Zabaleta has been a constant performer, Man City fans absolutely love him. Um, I don't mind watching him as well, he's a very good player, but obviously he may not be wanted by the uh, new manager coming in. The next player we've got is Nangol, and this one was an interesting one. I was told, and I didn't even realise that this was going on, that there was a pre-agreement signed between Chelsea and Roma for the services of Nangolan, uh, but that's actually come out and been to totally incorrect, but it looks like Chelsea are hot on the heels of Nangolan to try and bring him in. Looking at that card, guys, it's a sick guard, he's a sick player, but... Hyperlinks, Oof, him and Eden Hazard, it could be a very nice partnership, but for, for football, I don't want it because... Um, I don't want to see Chelsea get more better players than Liverpool anyway. The next one we've got, guys, is Laporte. Um, Pep's obviously been looking to sign some pre-agreements, uh, pre and Laporte was linked, well, reports actually say that he signed a pre-contract agreement to Man for Man City to buy him um, at the end of the season, so he may be leaving the uh, La Liga and moving to the Premier League. Another decent French centre-back in the Premier League, and that, a good one of that, actually. So, yeah, uh, I wouldn't mind seeing him in the Premier League. We have Cesc Fabregas as well. Barcelona this week have turned around and said they don't want Cesc Fabregas. But Real Madrid maybe do want him. Who knows? These are going to be another um, another twist in the snaky era of, uh, obviously, Cesc Fabregas, Arsenal, then to, obviously, uh, Barca, to Chelsea. So he's going to complete the hat, well, complete the duo by uh, doing the other snake and going to Real Madrid. Who knows? But Real Madrid are interested in getting Cesc Fabregas. We have Maratta as well, valued at 40 million euros. Pretty cheap, I'd say, for an out-and-out -out striker. And uh, there's quite a lot of teams uh, looking to get him, but Manchester United are leading the, uh, leading the line with him. 
We also have Zlatan Ibrahimovic confirmed to be leaving PSG. If you guys haven't seen that, um, he said, I came like a legend and left like a hero. It's something like that. Um, a nice quote. And he confirmed that on maybe Friday or Thursday um, that he was leaving PSG and that uh, this weekend will be his final game. Um, obviously, and uh, this is actually highly tipped, Los Angeles Galaxy are the leading team to sign him. I would love to see him come to the Premier League. He's done La Liga. He's done the Serie A. He's done Liga 1. I want to see him inside the Premiership just for his final, like a couple of years, you know. Um, hopefully not with Manchester United, but um, he definitely will be a, a brilliant player. Obviously, loads of informed so far this FIFA, scoring loads of goals, but a lot of people don't see Liga 1 as a competitive league, and it's just it's basically a holiday. So if he likes holidays, then uh, obviously the MLS will be a nice place for him. We have Griezmann as well. Uh, obviously, PSG are on the lookout for an out and out striker now, um, potentially looking to pull in Griezmann from Atletico Madrid. But I don't see why that would happen. One, Atletico Madrid are in the Champions League final, and they're obviously high runners in the La Liga as well. Griezmann's uh, been doing a fantastic, had a fantastic season already. And uh, on Friday, guys, we are going to see his team of season card as well, which should look fucking nice if this is highest rated card already. We have Thomas Rizicki, we have Arteta, and we have Tim Howard, guys. All three of them today did finish their uh, obviously their last run for the teams. I think even um, uh, Luis uh, Enrique as well, the Liverpool player, uh, all four of them players will not be playing for their Premier League club again. Uh, well, the, the current Premier League club. Riziki, um got a nice tribute paid for him by Jack Wilshire. Whether he's going to hang up his boots or whether he's going to move, else, move elsewhere, we'll have to wait and see. Um, we've got uh, Tim Howard. He's moving to Colorado Rapids in the MLS. And uh, Arteta, I'm not sure what's going to happen with him. And Enrique, I don't really care what happens to him as long as his Instagram, Instagram account's still up and running so he can tweet out some awesome pictures and get paid a fuckload of money for it. We also have Gonzalo Higuain, one of the well record breaker striker a lot of people see him as now. Um, Chelsea are highly interested in signing him uh, as they were in January but they're going to have to go and do something now Chelsea to uh, obviously make up for a pretty disappointing season from winners to uh, mediocre season for the one after. We have Anthony Martial as well. Um, PSG want to get him, inquiring whether they're going to put in a bid for him Um United fans probably won't like this, uh, but PSG, uh, obviously ex-Monaco as well. I think he potentially, and I don't know if I'm correct in saying this, I think he did used to play for PSG for a little bit before playing for Monaco. Let me know if I am wrong on that one, uh, but PSG are, are t contemplating putting an offer in for him, uh, bringing him back from Manchester United. We have Ashley Williams as well, highly linked to be going to uh, to Arsenal, um, another Welsh well, the perfect link with Ramsey, you know, that'd be pretty sick, won't it? But a very, uh, well, I would say average. Like, Arsenal need really, really good players if they want to beat the better second place they got this season. We have John Terry as well. If you guys didn't know, he was, uh, at the start of the season, was told that he won't be playing for Chelsea at the end of the season again. Uh, obviously, his farewell party didn't go to plan as he got a red card in the last game. Um... Second to last game, sorry, for them. And obviously he wasn't playing today. Uh, but he's been offered a one-year contract extension. Chelsea fans probably love that. I love it as well because I love I love playing against, love watching people play against John Terry. Um, but he's, he's a not a good player in the ultimate team. But he is always going to be a high-rated one. I reckon he might drop down to an 81-82 next year. We also have, and it says Ronaldo, but it's not Ronaldo. It's Naldo. This was a surprise one. Naldo actually left on free transfer for Wolfsburg and assigned for Schalke. Crazy transfer, one of the best centre-backs on the Ultimate Team, in my opinion, and uh, he will now get a perfect link with Santana. I think if Santana's still there, I'm not sure, but I know on Ultimate Team, when he does get his new card, uh, he will be able to get a perfect link with Santana when that happens. We also have Mats Hummels. This is an old one. You guys will know that. If I, I mentioned um, Renato Sanchez earlier on today. Uh, Hummels signed on the same day as well. Ex-Bayern Munich player himself was told he wasn't good enough to play for Bayern, went and played for Dortmund. That happened, and uh, now he's been, well, a lot of people see we uh, Dortmund as the feeder club to Bayern, but he is heading back there to probably finish off the rest of his career. I would love to see him at Liverpool, but I would love to see most German players at Liverpool just because of the Klopp link. But uh, Munich are going to have a fucking solid defence. <laughs> really solid defence. Hummels, Boateng, um, potentially Alaba if he stays in defence as well. Lam, and then obviously Neuer in net. It's going to be a formidable force in Europe next season. The final two players is guys, were Joel Matip, a lot of people didn't know this is happening, but Liverpool have already signed one player. There's one more player as well they were signing, but we might cover that in another video. I might do one of these a week, you know. And the final player, guys, is Loris uh, Karius, coming to the season this week, um, heavily linked with a move to Liverpool to replace Migdale. So, some nice cards, potentially could be entering the ultimate team. Obviously, I've only picked the highest rated versions of the cards. Obviously, if, if Marius, Karius, sorry, did sign for Liverpool, he wouldn't get a team of the season at Liverpool, you know, but maybe next season, hopefully. Anyway, so guys, that's been the Transfer Centre re returning back. I hope you've enjoyed it. If I've missed any, feel free to let me know, but every couple, maybe two to four days, I will do another one of these videos just to keep up 
Liverpool's ready, trained for the transfer window during the Euros as well, and it's only some big money moves this summer.